hello guys if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started over here i'm using 4x4 four four inches and my resolution is 300 okay so the first thing now i'm going to my resource background and i'm going to import this background over here then i'll take it over here then go to your color and i'm going to apply black and white then adjust the setting something like this it's okay then apply the clipping mask all right so i've been done this one now so the next thing i'm going to to do now i'm going to import my brush so over here is the brush i'm going to import then bring it over here click ok and I'm going to apply a gradient color on this brush. So now go to your gradient overlay. Then this is the color I'm going to apply on it. Then I'll click OK. Over here is the color code. So this is the color code. I created it before starting this. All right. So having done this one now, so the next thing we are going to do now, then we are going to import this Santa PNG image here. Then we take it over here, reduce it. Then I will make it like this. something something like this all right then come over here below the image and i'm going to create another layer then go to your brush and i'm going to select a brush i'm going to use a stroke brush which is this one then use your bracket to reduce the size of the brush then over here i'm going to click to create a brush like this all right then after this one then we are going to bring a light then this light flare over here then we are going to import it then reduce the size like this so if there is any need to increase it you are going to increase it then change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to 66 percent then you will have something like this then apply your layer mask then select your brush and i'm going to make use of soft brush over here then reduce the size of your brush and now we clean over this area Then this is what I will have. Then I'm going to increase the size. Then I've increased the size now. 
Then the next thing I'm going to grade at least to cycle. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. Then position it around here. Yeah, it's okay. Take this one up, then select the two, adjust it. Then now I will drag it back. I don't want it to be at the top of the Santa image. All right, so click on this one and I'm going to copy the color for this. So here is the color. Control plus C to copy, then double click here. Then Control plus V to paste. Now, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going back to my resource file and I'm going to import this image over here. Then you position it, reduce the size. Use your arrow key then to bring this one this way. Increase the size. Then I want to make sure that the image is at the center of it. Alright. Now, I will turn it off. Hold your control key then while you click on this cycle. Then go to select and click on the modify. Then select expand. Expand it by 20. Then you click OK. Then I'm going to turn this one on now. Then go back to your layer mask and select your layer mask. Then you will have something like this. Then on this image, and I'm going to change the blending mode to linear bond. Something like this. Alright. Then, and I'm going to select this cycle and change the blending mode to color dodge. So when you zoom in, then you will see something different over here. Then you will see a line and you will see that there is a difference over there. Okay. So having done this one now, the next thing I'm going to bring now then is the Christmas then design flower or bell. So which is this one? Then import it. And I'm going to drag it to the top here. Use your arrow key then to position it well. Something like this is okay. Alright, then I'm going to import the other one, which is this one. Then on this one now, I'm going to rotate it this way then I will make use of these parts then as you can see now I'm going to drag this image to the top and our brush I'm going to take it to the top then so that this one will be under it okay so having done this one now the next thing to do then is to bring in our test now then select your test to go to your test document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to white and the font I'm going to use poppings. Then from this side down to here, I will select it then and make use of bold. 
then why this one i will leave it at regular then i'm going to centralize it then position it over here and reduce the font size it's okay like this Then on this cycle and the image over there, I'm going to select it once again, this one, then this one, and the image. Then I'm going to use my arrow key then to bring it down like this. Alright. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. bring it down and position it over here then select your test tool while you highlight it and i'm going to my test document to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste increase the font size then i'm going to remove the character space spacing from 100% to 0% and the font I'm going to change the font to president uh, accidental presidency then increase the font size Then it's okay over there. Then this one, position it over here. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate and bring it down. Select your test tool, highlight it, and now we come over here to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. okay use your arrow key then to bring it down a little i will reduce this one a little then go back to your test and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your rent angle. And here I'm going to draw a line like this. Then leave the color white. Then I will copy this one. I mean duplicate is Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Bring it over here. drag it up here select your test tool highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to highlight this one then apply superscript Reduce the font size. Something like this. I'm going to hold your shift key then increase the size a little okay. then hold your shift key then i'm going to reduce it this way then ctrl plus j to duplicate it i will drag it up 
and I will bring this one down then select your rent angle and I will draw another rent angle over here like this then double click this layer and I'm going to select a color from here something like this then come over here then to copy this one then duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate then i'll bring it over here highlight it then control plus v to paste now take it to this position and reduce the font size Then use your arrow key then to bring it down this way then arrange it properly then control plus zero to fit it to page then that will enable you to see the outcome of it all right then and i'm going to bring this location then reduce the size It's okay then select your test tool then come over to your test document to copy this one then and control plus v to paste change the font color to black then drag it over here position it here select your test again and I'm going to make use of left alignment and you bring it over here then reduce the speaks 9% is okay or 8% anyone then you can make use of it something like this So now the last thing I'm going to do now is to bring this light flare over here. Then I'll drag it around for this position, then change it to screen. So you can see the difference there. When you turn it off and turn it on, then you see a difference there. Now I'm going to apply my layer mask, then select your brush increase the brush size a little and i'm going to blend off this area so that the edge will not show a line okay so that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for watching then if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe then and share share it thank you so much i really appreciate